Skyscanner is a global travel search company. We have uh, over 100 million uh, users a month uh, relying on us to find their, their travel needs. Customers like cannot accept that our site is offline for anything more than a few seconds. So it's super critical that we are available all the time. And this was one of the main driving forces for moving to AWS. We were always playing catch up. The, the data centers were getting close to capacity constantly, and we were constantly adding, having to add new hardware and play catch up with our ever increasing growth. Guys kind of engaged with AWS from day one. We got support from our account team, the solution architects, and they provide us with some great support to kickstart our migration. This wasn't a basic lift and shift. We spent three years doing re-architecting and then the last year doing lift and shift and re-platforming. At Skyscanner, our container environment is spread across uh, Amazon ECS and Kubernetes. We have over 700 services um, deployed onto these clusters and on any given day, we'll be running sort of eight to 9,000 different tasks and pods on the clusters. There's some really innovative services that are available on AWS, and they certainly help Skyscanner um, to, to power their business. Skyscanner initially used on-demand instances. We quickly moved to reserved instances for 70% of our workload, but then to drive down costs further, we use Spot. Skyscanner's entire online platform uses Amazon EC2 Spot instances. Amazon EC2 Spot instances saved us 70% per core and also provided us the flexibility to move our workloads globally. Kubernetes and Spot is a great fit, especially if you're running stateless microservices. The fact that the scheduler is designed inside of Kubernetes to move instances or services about, you can deal with the issues that you have with, with capacity. Using a traditional data center, it used to take us six to seven weeks to launch a new service. On AWS, it can take us 15 minutes. We have thousands of services running in AWS versus a few hundred in data center, and that means more products and new features for travelers. Migrating to AWS has enabled Skyscanner to focus on innovating for the traveler rather than managing IT infrastructure.